All right, here we go. Question number 22 from our college algebra homework number six in my lab math says use properties of logarithms to expand the logarithmic expression as much as possible where possible evaluate logarithmic expressions without using a calculator and we all know that really means use a calculator okay here we go so we have properties of logarithms so I'm over here I'm gonna list our properties and then explain how we're going to decide which one to use so there are three properties of logarithms there is the product rule the quotient rule and the power rule and so what you're doing if you're going to expand you're looking for multiplication uh, a fraction or an exponent and so here we can see that we are taking the log of something that has a fraction and that is going to indicate the quotient rule quotient rule says to divide and a fraction says to divide and so here's what the quotient rule says it says if you're taking the log of a fraction that'll turn into subtraction and it's always log of the top minus log of the bottom Okay, so one more time. Oh, and by the way, did you see that this log has no base? Remember, that's an understood base 10 if there's no base there. Base of 10, which means I don't really have to write it. It's understood 10. All right, so again, the quotient rule says if you're taking the log of a fraction, that'll turn into subtraction, and it's log of the top minus log of the bottom and that is pretty much done whoa wait a second this log is all numeric there's no variables and so that means that that's probably going to simplify further let's grab our handy dandy calculator okay so that's going to be log remember i said the base is 10 if it's not there and move over of a hundred thousand that's going to be five so that will simp all of this will simplify down to just five okay now if you're wondering well okay how would I do that if I didn't have a calculator well we could notice that a uh, hundred thousand can be rewritten as ten to the fifth power and then remember the log is log base ten and now notice these bases match so when the bases match they cancel and the exponent is the answer so that's how you could do that if you just don't have a calculator handy or not allowed to use it or whatever okay all right so here we go we've got log of x minus uh, not log of 10,000 minus log of 5 damn I hope that was helpful if you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below or you can text me. And thanks for watching.